Tata just called me like half an hour ago. And uh, Tata. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah, okay. you Tata. did good. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, just called me like half an hour ago. He thought I was the stage manager. So he said, he was like, oh, could you get some like some some sweets and candy for for for, uh, for, for Nana? So I actually brought some from the press area. <gasps> yes, it's oh like just, God, they're kind of smushy, so nice. but there you go. Thank it's you so much. It's just brown, a brownie and the cake and I'm the thing. I'm just try this. Is that lemon thing? I don't know, I haven't tried that, mm. that one. But Thank there, you. There you go. So you have your sweets. That's good. <laughs> I really need something sweet before I go on the stage. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm an addict with candy. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite candy? I have to know. Mm, wine gums. Wine gums. Yeah, like um, mm. gummy bears. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And like also really salty licorice. We eat that in Denmark. Mm. Mm. I don't think uh, in the rest of the world you don't really like it. Mm. It's very salty. What's it called? Licorice. Yeah. Yes, but in uh, in Danish. Piratas. Piratas. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. That's adorable. <laughs> You've been here uh, before, a couple of years ago, I think, right, at Superbock? I love being in Portugal. I think ever since the first time I was here, this is my fourth uh, time coming, uh, people have been so friendly and mm. I've always felt really uh, welcome here. And now I've, it's actually one of the few places that I go to that I spend a little bit of time because usually you just play a show and then you leave the next day but here I've actually every time I've been here I've stayed a few days and uh, just like wandered around in uh, Basha is that what you yes, say? Uh, yeah. Basha, yeah, yeah. yeah and I just really like it here mm. I'm actually finishing my record here in mm -hmm. Portugal. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, with any local names or something, or just you no. know, just uh, your your people? Well, I'm actually friends with David Fonseca. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, he's a good wow. friend of mine because we met in America a few years ago. Really, South by. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. um, but I'm not collaborating with any Portuguese okay, artists. Okay. I'm just, um, I've rented a house and then I'm going to do all my vocals there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I like to do vocals where, like, some places that mean something to me. It's a very special album. I produced it myself in my flat in Brooklyn, uh, like I did when I started out making music in my bedroom. And I wanted to go back to that and just be really unorthodox with it and just not follow any ideas of what is right or fancy, you know, because as a musician there's so many uh, expensive instruments and gear and fancy studios and famous producers, but you can really do it yourself if you just have a vision for it and an idea. Mm -hmm. So I've just recorded a lot back in my own apartment and there's some really intimate songs and really personal songs and I can't wait for to get it out. I released Wishbone just a year ago and already now I want to finish this one up <laughs> and release yeah. it hopefully before the end of the year. Uh -huh. um, I just I've just had a lot on my mind and I'm just I want to get it out and sure. like don't want to wait too long. Uh -huh. So it's just like something that happens really naturally then for you, like just you just write and stuff and you want to put stuff out. Is that just it pretty much or do you have like this plan or something? Mm, I rarely have a plan. If I get inspired, I feel like I'm wasting my time if I don't mm. uh, act on it. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't want to, if I feel inspired, I would feel really guilty if mm. I just ignored it mm -hmm. um, because you can't like always predict when you're gonna, gonna get inspired and sometimes you are getting inspired in really inconvenient times <laughs> like just before sleep yeah, for instance? Exactly. yeah. Oh, I do that all the, <laughs> time. All the time do you yeah. also yeah Absolutely. I wake up and then I like try to write it down and like lots of spelling mistakes and like or like record it on my phone and the next day I can barely hear what I uh -huh. did because I was half asleep uh -huh. I do that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know what you mean. One thing you can't do is leave it for tomorrow morning or tomorrow, whenever you wake up. It just can't happen. 
so many times I've thought to myself, this is so good, I'm gonna remember for sure. Yeah. Because there's no way I can forget this. And then the next morning I've just been like, what was I thinking? It was so good and now I just wasted it. It's not as bad because possibly we think it's brilliant, but maybe it isn't. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like sometimes when I dream an idea and I actually wake myself up and like sing it and like or like write it down and it's something like me standing on the top of a mountain and I'm singing it and you can hear it like all over the city and it's just like love <laughs> and then I wake up the next day and hear it and I'm like shit this is like really bad <laughs> um, <laughs> like stuff you you wrote when you were like 12 or something yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. but I think still my dreams help me a lot mm. in my writing like because you let go in your dreams and you can't really control your thoughts mm. and uh, because during your life when you are awake you always if you start thinking about something that's not comfortable you can manipulate to yourself to not think about it mm. and so I think in in dreams they like tell you what's really going on mm. and uh, that's interesting that's pretty cool so like I listen to my dreams a lot and I dream I have very vivid dreams like every every night. I try not to tell them to other people because I know it's quite boring. <laughs> sometimes, it, sometimes, sometimes it is. Yeah, so but sometimes it isn't. Come on. Like, and then and then <laughs> something really weird happened and we all turned to mud yeah. and then yeah. we walked uh, upside down and and uh, are your dreams more real then? This is totally off track. This is okay. I have something I have stuff planned actually but <laughs> has has nothing. Uh, but uh, Do you feel that sometimes what you dream while you're awake is more imaginative than what you dream while you're asleep? Um, like your dreams are more real than actual, actually what you think while you're awake? I definitely think that uh, my dreams... I can almost always tell why I'm dreaming what I'm dreaming. Mm. Like when I wake up, I'm al I'm almost always like, well, that totally makes sense if I just call that cat my friend's name. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like there's always some kind of logic to it. Like dreaming is just like a really clever way for your mind to tell you things that you don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sure, sure. Is it like the dump or something? The memory dump or something? Totally. We're so good at suppressing feelings that we don't want to have or like mm. memories we don't want to confront ourselves with. And, mm. you know, because most people just want to be happy. Like, we have different ways of getting there, but mm. we all want to want to feel good, you know, so we try to push all the sad things away. Is a renaissance girl a willing position or is it like something that's forced upon you, really? Um, or both or neither? I wanted to write a song called Renaissance Girls because there wasn't a term called Renaissance Girls, only Renaissance men, yeah. which are men who are really good at a lot of things at once um, and I just feel like as a woman living in 2014 there's a lot of roles you also have to fit in as well as for men. I'm just often very critical of myself. I expect myself to be like have a great career, be like a perfect friend, like have contact with my grandmother and write a postcard every time I go traveling, like be able to like do the housewife things and but also be like a feminist and like you want to be you want to fill out all the roles at once, you know? Um, so it's like this weird battle between like making others satisfied but also paving your own way like mm. and figuring out like I just want to be my own renaissance girl I want to be somebody who just like follow my own ideas mm. Mm. 
crossover question. If you put a cherry on top of a Renaissance girl, will she bake a cake? <laughs> um, I think she'll probably do like this and then like, <laughs> and then eat it. <laughs> nice.